Destroy the objective. We got the bomb. What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today, myself and Plizix are going to be bringing you guys a dual Q&A video thingy, and uh, I should mention, first of all, that I haven't seen any of these questions yet, so we're going to just be doing this on our first little take here, and also make sure you go subscribe to uh, Plizix's channel, it'll be in, this, in the description below, so go check him out, so I'll hand it over to him now. Alright, so I'm just going to read the questions, and me and Max are just going to mutually answer it. Uh, you saw me in Max's last video, but we're here. The first question from X Foamy. He said, "How did you meet each other?" Well, if I'm not mistaken, Max, I believe it was me and uh, play your role. We're playing League Play. And we ran into this young fella here, and his thing said on Black Ops 2, it said, "At free agent, any role," and that, we sort of took it from there. Yeah, I remember with that. I was actually I was hoping to do an OBJ role, but it turned out they needed me to do an AR role, and it wound up working. As you guys have seen, I've I've mainly played AR since then. So, yeah, that's pretty much how we met. He said any role, so I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Patrick Hanan with a great question. Probably my favorite one. How did you get your mother to accept the fact that gaming is what you want to do? Ooh. Okay, so that that took that's a, quite that's a while. A good one. I mean, my mom's always been supportive of the fact, but I I don't think she fully understood for a while and. I'm, I'm even now I don't know if she really wants me to to do it. Yeah, same here. Like like I don't really get much support from my family about it. Like they understand like it's my decision and all. My dad has my dad actually had to talk to me about it today. And he's like I, I understand you want to play but like you're still my son. It's some kind of stuff he says cuz when you play gaming especially at an age of us still being in high school, your family wants to spend time with you and it's hard to make the sacrifices and it's really hard to get it through their heads. So hopefully once we smash some events and everything, they'll start taking it a little more seriously on our end, you know. But it's just something for the future we have to work on. Yeah, the events and getting a little bit of money, whether it's from YouTube or from events or Twitch or whatever, I think that's when they start taking it more seriously. All right, Patrick and Nance. Um, I can't really answer this question, well. Is how did you feel at your first COD gaming event? We've actually not been to a gaming event. Whoa, my just got a squeeze. I'm sorry. Did you hear that? Did that come through the mic? I don't think so. All right, whatever. Um. But it says, how did you feel your first COD gaming event? We have not gone to them, but we're going one of the 29th. It is DXD in Boston, Maryland. Really close to me, Max has to fly in. Hopefully, hopefully we're going to win that one. So the first time we've announced that, Max. Um, I think I've mentioned it briefly in one of my other right, videos. Well, well yeah. But we've never been to an event. I don't, Max, you haven't either, have you? No, I haven't been to one. Right, L2E asks, are you an SMG or AR player? I don't know if that's for me. I, I don't think it'd be for Max. They should all know Max's videos, but... Take it away. Um, I mainly play AR. I'm kind of a hybrid, but as time has gone on, sub. yeah, I've gotten worse and worse with the sub, and better and better with an AR. Well, maybe not worse with the sub. It's just in comparison, it's worse. So at this point, I am mainly an AR player. I am a submachine gun player on the OBJ the team, but on one map, I use an AR because one of our teammates can't figure out how to run an AR on it. But whatever. But yeah, I play. I play sub. AR is too passive for me. I'm more of an in-your-face, sneaky kind of player, running around. But that, that's that's personally that's what I prefer. I can do an AR on S and D or certain maps if I absolutely have to. But like I said, I prefer SMG much more over an AR. All right. Receptions MLG says how to get a faster reaction time. Hmm. Okay. Um. I recommend wow. Control Freaks. They actually help me out a lot. They um do more area move around so you less dead zone less delay in your controller I, I I that's the only thing I could think of other than playing a lot and a lot and a lot other than grinding out the game that's the best thing I can think of yeah I'm sure practice helps quite a bit and I mean I don't know I, I and just one, think about it scanning the screen consistently you know yeah I cut you off. Uh, it's fine I mean a, a lot of everyday activities can help too. I mean, if you play sports, that'll definitely help your reaction time. But I mean, obviously if you play sports, you have less time for video games. But I don't know. I, I mean, the best thing is really practice, like we've said. It's just constant practice. All right. Um, Patrick Hanant, um, he says, sorry I'm asking so many questions, but this is the last one. It's okay, dude, ask as many as you want. How did you and the team meet each other? We already explained how me and Max met. Uh, Quad, he was actually not even a friend from school. He was someone I, like, he sat next to me in study hall, and he was like, he had a GB team. And Max was, I told Max, like, I, this kid in my school, like, he's kind of a, no offense, he, I know he's going to be watching this, he's kind of a pub star, but, you know, we can try him out. Max was nervous about him. We had to teach him the call outs, and we needed an anchor, and he played sub, but he went and played anchor, and I taught him all the spots, and eventually he switched over to sub, and that's, 
That's it. And how do we meet Bugsy? I met him through you. I guess I'm gonna show this too. Uh, one of the old members of Flight, Flight Psychotic, he, uh, when I got dropped, actually, uh, um, I went to team with Psychotic for a little bit, tried out for him, and Bugsy was there. And then Bugsy left Psychotic for me and Max because he felt like I thought his better decisions or he could do with us, and then it just went from there. And uh, one one last thing about about Quaddy, why I had reservations about it. Basically, I was worried number one because Alex had told me that he was a pub star, and I was also worried because they went to the same school. And I know that a lot of times, uh, teaming together with people from the same school don't it, it doesn't work out very well because you know them in real life, and if fights occur, yeah, then it can fall yeah, apart. Yeah, yeah, we me and Levi do get in some arguments because we do be know each other in real life. That's one of the fact that we have to make things work past it. Alright, Purge YouTube just said congrats, so congrats, Max, for hitting 1.5 thousand subscribers. Well, thank you. I never actually said thank you to anybody. Oh, I haven't, I haven't gotten on until just now to look at the comments, so my bad. I'll be responding before I put this video up. XX Fear itself one XX. This you could make a class setup video for starter G player, GB players if he has. Can someone link me to it? I'm sure Max will link to it. You put it in the description of this video, Max, for your. For your GB classes. Yeah, I'll put it there. Also, I'll mention, I'll probably make some new class videos pretty soon, considering the fact that I bought the extra class slots now, so I can have a lot more. So I might do that in the next couple weeks as well. Alright, and Affix Gaming, this isn't a question, he says, you were the biggest inspiration to me. Wow. Um, I, I haven't heard that very often. I think that's, that's the second time I've heard that. That's, I don't know, that's so crazy to me to hear people say that I'm such an inspiration. I, I don't know. It's I mean, I'm glad I can help people and everything. And um yeah. I mean, thank you. All right, L2E says favorite game type. Ooh. I'm going to say in Ghost, I'm going to say Blitz. I love Blitz. In Call of Duty History, I'm going to say S&D cuz that's where I started. I I love Blitz. I'm going to say for this game S&D simply because playing the AR role in a Blitz or Domination game can get really, really boring and repetitive. Um, however, in history of Call of Duty, I haven't played that many Call of Duties, but I would say my favorite game type was probably CTF, uh, just because, you know, you can move up more. I don't know, I just, it, it worked well for staple. me. It's a staple in, like, sports. Then yeah. You play sports at, like, CTF and gym class or on the playground. Or, you know, even like in, ever, in many games, like, you know, I've been, I think they had it in Battlefield 3 towards the end, they have it in Halo, they had it in COD. Yeah, it's, it's been everywhere. Hey, right, Josh Wag says, how did you get onto Flight Gaming? I had a message on Twitter. Um, I think, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was through Twitter, um, if I remember correctly, David, the, the leader of Flight, he actually contacted me about it originally, and then I put him in contact with Alex You here. know, Max is so famous. Uh, yeah, I, at the time, you know, I still wasn't that big yet. I was, I think I was still under 100 subscribers, and I was at, I don't know, maybe like 500 followers on Twitter. But um, he had contacted me about starting up a U.S. flight team, and he, I was nervous at first because, you know, he said, like, they've only been around for, like, four days at the time, but they'd already gotten so much done that I was like, all right, I'll put him in contact with Alex, and then he's handled all that for me. I haven't had to do any of the business stuff, so... Alright, uh, Austin Cern says, hey, just wanted to say you post some really good videos. And in your videos, you should mention tournaments that are coming up, because I really don't know how many websites that host tournaments. I'm going to answer that right now. We just find them on Twitter, or we find some site, like, third-party sites. We don't really do GB tournaments, because they all cost money. And until we're, like, top am or pro, I feel like it's almost a waste of our money to actually do them. So... Yeah, I mean, I think... I'm, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna start doing them once we get money, but we really don't have the time right now. There's a lot of issues going on that I'm not really going to mess with stuff on video. Yeah. And the rest of the comments of the Ready Up Gaming Term you mentioned in one of your videos, team completed in one and we placed fourth, our team name was qualified. Is that the one for the, for the charity, Max? Um, Ready Up Gaming? Because yeah, we were that was, supposed to compete in that. Yeah, Max, that was a charity. I don't, know, I don't know if you messed up, but something messed up. I, I didn't mess up. I double checked, I triple checked the information because that was like the best free tournament. tournament. Yeah, they right, didn't Snoke put us in the Boy brackets. Sa Snoke Boy says, when and how did you start YouTube? I started YouTube once I got my caps card in September. Max was after me. He was very nervous. I kind of helped him out, patted him on the back a bit. Yeah, I started, I think, right at the end of September, maybe right at the beginning of October. 
of 2013, and I, I, yeah, I was very, very pissed. Yeah, but okay, um, receptions, ML receptions MLG says how to start a competitive COD team. Find your friends and play. Yeah, it, it starts with your friends that you've already got, or if you don't have any started, friends, if you're just starting out on Xbox, you know, just start talking to people, be friendly. There's a lot of find find, find a friend people, in school but... that plays Xbox, create a game battles account, and just start doing dubs. When I first played competitive Call of Duty, I, me and my friend from school, we just did dubs, and we went like eight and like forty. It was like it was crazy, but you'll you'll get better. Just you yeah. Start with dubs, you'll find teammates, and you'll you eventually get somewhere. If you're younger, it's better to start now than later. Yep. All right, Price is asked, how much time should you invest in a team in order to know if you stick with that team? I don't know how to answer that question because some teams will just stick, some teams won't. You know. Uh. I would, I mean, it does. It also depends on how much time you're spending each day. But I mean, I would say, to to really know if the team is going to have any kind of potential, I I would say probably around a month and then just kind of reflect on what you've done, what you've improved on. Because I mean, I it, it doesn't matter necessarily how you are when you first start out it depends on how fast you're progressing and how you're improving because if you're a really good team but you don't improve at all throughout the course of that month or two months or whatever then obviously you need to get out of that and find a team that's going to be able to progress past a certain point so i mean i, I would say ar around a month it would be my general answer eric wooten says have you ever won money from gaming and if so how many times uh i could answer that you answer that first. Can't I'll, I'll I can't. I can't. I can't really give you a how many times. It's been numerous times. One good amount of money. The max answer now. I've. Um. I actually haven't earned any money from gaming competitions. I have earned some free passes in the paid tournaments a couple times now, but uh, I, I actually haven't earned any money from any tournaments yet. All right, Justice YouTube says, "What do you do when you do GBs and team scrim and stuff in the competitive world?" If I think I know what he's asking here, I'm not really sure. He didn't really word it the best, but if he's saying what I think he's saying is, "What do you do like when you warm up?" I guess that's what you think he's saying. What um, do you do when you warm up? Or that's, what, what, that's when possible. we warm up, we what I do is I put the, I put the bots on veteran difficulty. You can watch my video on this. I made a video about this. I put the bots on veteran difficulty and double the health. This will teach you to get your shot more accurate, more consistent, because there'll be more health. And you'll also feel like you're melting people, because you got used to that quick, uh, the, the, the long amount of health, so. I mean, that's that's one way to do it. For, for me, personally, I prefer to either just go into a league play game, or go into a free-for-all with my teammates, with, them, with, with some bots as well on veteran, but I would usually prefer not double health, but I mean, it's, it's whatever. It, it, it works out. Alex's way as well. Both ways are good ways to warm up. All right, Eric Wooten says. Last question: What other teams have you teamed with in the past? Oh you boy. Go first, or me go first. You go first. I gotta think for a minute. All right, I'll count down back in team names. It went Flight, Mercy, Oblivion, No Return, United, MMOH. Okay. Uh, for me, okay. let's see. Flight, Mercy, and then before that. I don't actually remember the team names. Um, I was on a few teams beforehand, but uh, most of them didn't last very long, mostly due to the fact of my time constraints. You know, I was only able to play an hour a day at that point, and so most teams kind of moved on without me. Um, I know the team before um, Mercy I had was a very, very good team um, after I got dropped. Uh, a couple of those members went on to place top 32 at UMG Atlanta, so it was a good team, but I, I just didn't have the time to invest at that at that point in my career. M might I say, the people I have, I teamed with in the past, uh, they've all like, gone from a team to team, like when MMOH United and NR, even in flight, well, I don't know, we weren't officially in flight, but it was Josh or uh, Jay Chunks, I've seen in my videos a couple times, he was with me in MMOH or I say United for a little bit, NR and Oblivion. He was with me in all those. He started Oblivion with me, he joined NR, did MMOH with me, and United in the very end. But like like I said, he's teamed with me for a while. Like he's teamed with me a lot. We've it's never, ever, ever worked out. We've never teamed each other for more than like two weeks. Maybe a month at the most. Mm. We really have never teamed each other then. 
another teammate. Like they've all been previous teammates. Like like uh, hectic. I teamed with him in United, and I teamed with him in Oblivion, and I teamed with him in Flight. Like they're they're all they've all been the same teammates. You know what I mean? All yeah. Pretty much the same people, which is a good thing if you ask me, because that. It just, it just shows your dedication to each other and how, you know, you're all going to be friends. I don't know if me and Hector are still cool or not, but I, whatever. I, I guess one thing I should I should mention is I actually started competitive on the PS3 and about uh, right, right around the end of MW3 is when I switched over, and that's when I had to, you know, try and find new teammates, and I, I honestly don't remember the first team I had on Xbox, but I, I think the one I after started, that was the one where... I started playing competitive, not really competitive, as soon as I got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on the PS3, I made a game battle account because I somehow ran across the website. Oh, jeez, you started way history earlier. history of Call of Duty, yeah, just right when I picked up the game. Really bad, but... <laughs> Well, I mean, then, that's then how you get my PS, then, 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 like, my PS3 broke, and then, went, then I, like, played Black Ops, like, halfway through. We didn't do any competitive in Black Ops. In mm -hmm. the beginning in PS3, but, like, once I got the Xbox, halfway through Black Ops, like, sort of stopped. And then I picked it back up in Modern Warfare 3 with my friend Tech9. I met him on the Game Battles Free Agents. Then I did it, then I started taking it a lot more seriously with my friend, uh, Hunter. Cool. And that's when we went, like, 46. Okay, so is that all oh, the well, questions? We're gonna do. Yeah, that's all the questions. Okay, so... Thank you guys for... Them. Yeah, make uh, thank you guys for all your questions. Uh, make sure again that you check out Alex's channel. It'll be in the description below. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody. Peace out. Unless Alex wants to say anything here.